Okay, I've been wanting to make one of these videos for quite a while. Uh, one where I get some sterling scrap. Well, sterling that I'm going to scrap. And then I just rip it apart and see how much of uh, sterling scrap there is. And uh, here's a perfect example. Coasters. Oh, look, I had that all the way up here. I have to look through the back of the camera to do this. I got it on a tripod. Anyway, these sterling coasters say... Oh, let me see if I can read it. Frank... I'll write down what they are, but it's this one's faintly hallmarked. Uh, these two have the best hallmarks. Frank M. Whiting and Company is what it looks like. If I'm wrong, and then it says Sterling 04 Pat Penny. If I'm wrong about that, I'll, uh, I'll put in the title, and that'll be actually with You know, you think I'd be more prepared for this stuff, but uh, not necessarily. I believe this is the only tool I will need to do this, and this really shouldn't be hard. I just gotta grab it, and then just kinda tug it off, kinda bend it, whatever. Uh, you can see, it just peels right off. This shouldn't take me too long. As you can see, I paid $2 a piece for these. So it just peels like a banana. Okay. A lot of times, all you really need to get the silver off of something like that, well, not necessarily this piece, but um, would be, say, a hammer and some of these needle noses. You may want to use like gloves sometimes because this stuff is like razor sharp. It's really fine. I'm hoping that scale is good enough. I'm going to put it on there. If that scale isn't, I decided to do four and then just take an average of the four, you know, and we're going to see if I have at least two dollars worth of silver in these. You know, and th this will help you decide depending on what silver is uh, at the time that you're buying something like this, whether it's worth buying it for scrap, you know, because uh, you can't tell, but this feels like a, a piece of aluminum foil. Plus, I got this crap. <sighs> Alright, I, I probably just blew all into the camera. Anyway, let me, let me continue taking these off. Um, the stuff that you see that uh, is coming off is like the plaster they used to put to hold the scrap on. And I guess I should have been wearing gloves for this, but I'm not. So, whatever. This will help me and you. I see I just dab myself a little bit. In the future, when you see these, and if they want like five bucks a piece, you'll go like, well, are there five dollars worth of sterling here? Uh, sterling here. I actually may have overpaid for these. You, know, you never know. There might not be two dollars worth of sterling. But again, I did it for the sake of the video. You know, you see these a lot of times, and they're always dented. They're never perfect, right? And they'll want like 10 bucks a piece on them or five bucks a piece on them. And they're like, they're sterling. And honestly, I don't know if you know anybody that uses coasters. Especially coasters like these. These are too old fashioned. And honestly, you could still use these as coasters. I don't think I'm doing any damage to the glass. And the reason I decided to do four um, it was because I have two, two, I don't really scrap a lot, so I have like two scales. I have a scale like this one, and then I have one that's smaller. Now, if this isn't giving me an accurate weight, I'm just going to do this in two videos. I probably should have took the other one out. Um, but I think it, it'll work out better if I just average the four, and that'll give me like, a, like an idea of what they actually weigh. Okay. See, uh, no CGI on this. I'm doing it right in front of you. That's why I'm hoping the other scale works. I mean, this scale works. I don't have to divide it into two. Because then I won't have to edit the video. I won't have to process it. It takes long. It's easier if I just do it one, two, three. All right. See, these are really razor sharp. Uh, sh sharp. These are really razor sharp. So you have to be careful. That's why... And I, it's not even that I'm really experienced with this stuff, but um, that's why 
you should be wearing gloves when you do this. And it, I don't, you know, they don't have to be really thick gloves, but just gloves. Now I'm gonna actually take all this stuff off. Let me get this centered right there, so you can see the weight and everything. All right, let me take that off, and there it is, nice and centered. All right, camera. Okay. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm using a tripod and everything, so normally I don't uh, bother, but I need like two hands to do, to, uh, to do this. And like I said, I could clean this off, and I could use them at coasters if I wanted to. I, I don't have any really good furniture, though, that I have to worry about. Okay, it's on. Now, right now, it's reading ounces. I'm just going to do it to grams. Okay, it's reading grams. I'm going to put one on and, and see if we get anything. All right, I got five grams. So, I'm assuming this will weigh about 20 grams. When I'm, well, see, now I got 12 grams. And now I have 19 grams. All right. All right, so we're looking at 24 grams there, which, if, if I'm doing my math right, I don't believe I need a calculator on this. Uh, each one of the sterling rims that uh, came on the outside of this coaster should be 6 grams of uh, sterling silver, right? 6 times uh, 4 is 24. All right, um, that's it. Now you know how much sterling there is um, on what would be most coasters like this because they're generally about the same amount. You know, they're mostly the same size. Six grams. Uh, I'm going to do some math and I'm going to see if I... Um, you know what? Uh, to be honest, I didn't actually pay two bucks a piece. From, uh, what I did was I told the lady, gee, these are kind of um, dented and dinged and, and whatever. Uh, would you take five dollars a piece for them? So I actually paid five dollars a piece to it, uh, uh, five dollars a piece for them. Now, uh, again, I believe they're about 30 grams in an ounce. So I'm just going to say sterling right now is probably sixteen dollars. Um, so I probably have about, let's see, if, if it's scrapping at 16 and it might be a little higher, it might be lower. I don't really know. I'm just, I'm just, I haven't looked in weeks and stuff, right? But if 24 grams is about an ounce, it's shy an ounce. It's about like, um, I don't know, 25% less than an ounce, I'll just say. So that's, uh, 16, we're already down to 12. And then scrap, I don't know, I guess I, I got maybe about $10 here, but what I just did isn't really how it works. You'd have to take it to your scrap person. And depending on what, I mean, uh, maybe silver will become super rare and it'll go up to like, you know, $1,000 an ounce. Um, not likely, but but anyway, now you know. Uh, there should be about six ounces of sterling silver uh, on the outside of these coasters. And I'll, I'll write this particular type of coasters because it may vary slightly, but um, there you go.